Welcome to Just to Lab Simulating Videos. So, well, our Factor 2 has been updated. Uh, there have been some updates to uh, several tracks only. And uh, this is prior to uh, the next uh, bigger release of updates. So, just want to give you a few comments about uh, that update, which has been released uh, now. So the first one is uh, Daytona. There have been several fixes uh, to Daytona. It's now version 1.15. Uh, uh, we have an improved oval AI pit entry preventing from brushing wall at T1 and T4. And uh, they also fixed occasional uh, braking over start finish line to reduce the chance of passing on yellow line during turns. So in the meantime, what you see is a Formula Pro with a uh, season. 2021 liveries, uh, so just to have uh, nice race and nice cars in the background. Uh, what else uh, is new? We have improved RCAI at T1 and bus stop. We have fixed uh, that floating marshal inside our seat T1, and uh, they also fixed some minor virtue issues and uh, fixed some, some issues too with uh, safety vehicles, which I cannot show you now because it's just a race on the track here. Uh, they also have uh, optimized uh, track side RVs with uh, reduced uh, poly count. Uh, so maybe, I, I don't know if this really affects some uh, performance. Uh, what else they have uh, done is they optimized uh, the race surfaces uh, for possible performance gains. So I need to check this out. Uh, uh, especially uh, with lap times uh, already known, and so let's see them uh, if there's possible to, to gain some better lap times. And uh, last thing which has uh, changed for Daytona version 1.15 is that they have removed uh, the full course yellow settings from the GDB files. So, well, that's it for uh, the changes on the Daytona track, and uh, here we go. Moving on to the next track where have been some changes released. Let's go there. So well, the next track that has been updated is the Lime Rock Park. A uh, track that is really popular uh, on many players and many drivers. Uh, it's a real nice track and uh, i show you just a few pictures with a nice uh, uh, Liché, which has been released uh, not so long time ago. So, what did it change? Uh, it's now on version 3.05. So, it's an uh, improved AI behavior, which is uh, the main update uh, on all uh, layouts of the track, and including the pit entry uh, behavior. They also have added uh, some anti cut curbs at uh, the first chicane and uh, fixed the distance marker texture brightness. Just a few uh, fixes that no, not everybody will uh, recognize at once, so just some minor uh, issues. Uh, as also the minor wedge issue near the paddock exit, and uh, they also fixed uh, the, the flag being rendered uh, without poles. Maybe someone has recognized this in the past that uh, the, the fixed flag uh, has not been rendered uh, with the poles. So they also uh, added some uh, minor foliage and terrain material tweaks and uh, did also some minor adjustment to the sky lighting, which really not everyone will recognize, but it's a few fixes and all in all it, uh, well, let's say, enhances the whole package of Lime Rock Park. So what else did they do? Uh, this is the last thing, they packed the uh, RSHD and the CBASH for improved loading times. So I checked the loading times and indeed they are a little bit faster than before. So it's not, not really significant, but uh, you can uh, well, recognize it that loading times are a little bit faster when you go on to a race with that uh, nice cars on this popular uh, track at Lime Rock Park. And with this nice pictures here from the Ligier, uh, I uh, added some custom liveries uh, in the meantime. So we've now some nice liveries here for the Ligiers. Uh, we 
go on. The next track that has been updated, which is uh, Silverstone. Here we go. So well, here we go on with the next track, uh, which has been updated. Uh, it's uh, the track of Silverstone, and there have been some improvements too. So uh, don't be worried, uh, because in the uh, uh, official release notes, uh, it was a description of version 2.15 update notes, but uh, indeed it's uh, version 2.16, uh, which has been released now. I think in the meantime they fixed it too in the uh, official release notes. So I'm showing you this track now with the uh, BMW M4 GT3, which has been also released a short time before. Uh, well, what did they fix or improve? Uh, first thing is they fixed the pit out lights on the old uh, pit layouts and uh, fixed uh, the historic layout cameras so that uh, they have cameras now correct for the pit lane. Uh, what else have been improved? Uh, that uh, is, uh, they adjusted the crowd uh, billboard settings and uh, they have been on some uh, minor material adjustments which uh, you might uh, recognize when you're looking at the track in very detail. Maybe you can uh, see this too in my video. And uh, in addition to this they also standardized uh, the layout names which you can see them in the list of your tracks. Uh, what else did they do? They have fixed uh, also minor uh, collision inconsistencies uh, between uh, the visual uh, settings. This was also a thing that uh, where have been some complaints in the past and this is uh, also fixed now. And uh, another, uh, what, let's say a little bit uh, more important improvement is uh, that they, uh, as for the Lime Rock Park 2, they have packed the ROI SAD and the CBASH uh, for faster uh, track loading now. So the graphics are really look, looking nice now with these uh, BMWs here, as you can see. And uh, well, as uh, on Lime Rock Park, yes, you can feel an improvement of the loading times. It's not so significant. So maybe if you're not a frequent player of this, you will not really recognize this. But uh, if you, let's say, if you're a daily player, uh, a daily using the Silverstone uh, circuit, you will for sure uh, recognize this, that there have been some improvement on this. So now uh, the last track uh, that I can present you, which has been improved, is uh, the, the next one, is uh, Sebring. So we'll have a look at uh, Sebring now, and uh, there's been uh, another track updated too, which is Monza. Uh, because I do not own the Monza track, uh, I will just give you then uh, a short overview of the release notes, but you will see in the meantime the Sebring track too. So here we go on. So here we go on with the nice uh, track of Sebring, which also has been updated uh, with uh, this new release. And uh, first of all, there's uh, again a little uh, confusion because in the official patch notes uh, they're talking about version 1.3.3 update notes and uh, in fact it's uh, version 1.3.9 uh, which you will find in your track list. And uh, well, uh, in the meantime, well you can, you can watch this uh, nice Akuras here uh, on this fantastic uh, Sebring track, uh, I can tell you something about uh, the updates which have been done here. So first of all is that uh, they have fixed uh, pit entry markers which were not visible on low settings, so you will not see on this uh, video because I'm only doing this video in uh, maximum uh, quality uh, settings in 4K, maximum ultra quality, so you'll not recognize this, you will only see this if you're going to uh, play this game on low settings. A nice move here from, from this car as you have seen. And uh, well, there's uh, also now slightly less strict uh, track cut settings uh, because a lot of complaints were there because of the track cut settings as you can see now. I'm cutting the track uh, here too 
and uh, this have been very strict on the Sebring track, so this is now a little bit more tolerant. And uh, they also fixed an issue with the ambient lighting resulting in overexposed clouds, uh, so you will recognize this too when you're going to drive with uh, cloudy skies. And uh, last but not least, uh, they have uh, packed the RSAD and the CBASH 2 for faster track loading, which uh, for Sebring I, I could uh, um, recognize this uh, significantly. It's uh, much quicker than before, so good loading times, not as good as it uh, can be from my point of view, but uh, still quicker uh, than before. So in the meantime, uh, while you're watching this nice Icarus here racing on the uh, Sebring track, uh, I can uh, tell you a few words uh, about uh, the Monza track, which has also been uh, updated uh, now to version 1.33. I hope that uh, this uh, is correct. I can cannot verify this because I do not own uh, the track. So I can tell you what has been uh, changed in this update. So they improved the AI behavior on uh, all layouts for Monza and uh, they did some slight refinements to the foliage uh, materials and updated start and finish tower materials too. So this is a thing you might recognize uh, pretty soon. And uh, as for the other tracks, uh, except uh, Daytona, because it was also in already implemented, is that for Monza they packed the RSAD and the CBASH 2 now for improved loading times, which you can for sure uh, see if you're going to start the game. So, well, that was it uh, for the updates for R Factor 2 for some of the tracks uh, they have updated. And uh, hope you liked this video. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you soon back on the track. If you like this video, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. As you can see, it is a career here going wide <laughs> over the track and with that a nice crash here. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Have a nice day.